smiling at me as so many times before. So our first video of this year was us renovating our twins nursery from completely a blank canvas. We ripped everything down, didn't we? Did it all again. It was the first thing we did when we moved into this house, but we didn't actually get it finished. And now they're here and they're and now they're here and they're actually coming close to going in their nursery we thought we better actually finish it off and show you what we've done in there we're about at 80 percent aren't we yeah and we need to get the rest of it finished today and we're going to give you a full tour around it and show you where everything's from we'll link everything below as well in case you want to get it for yourself hello everybody and welcome back to our channel so we have got a very busy weekend this weekend. I've just done a spin class. It's actually a sponsored spin class, but I'll come back to that in a minute. We are also going to be trying to finish the boys' nursery. Yes, finally. There's a few little finishing touches that I'm gonna be doing in this video, and then we're gonna give you like a full tour round, tell you where everything is from, and the boys will be in there fairly soon. It's not that much longer, a few months. Two months. A few months and they'll be in there, which is scary. Well, Fab's been looking after the boys. I have been doing a sponsored spin for a friend of mine's sister, who unfortunately has been diagnosed with terminal cancer, which is like so unbelievably sad. She's actually got a daughter who is five years old. Being a mum and hearing a story like that is just, I don't know, it's so, I find it really, really sad and it's really touched my heart. I've been doing a sponsored spin with my sister for her and to raise money for her and her daughter to be able to spend as much time doing loads of stuff um, together. Are we Let's link the GoFundMe page below. Yeah, yeah, so we'll link the GoFundMe page below. If you can, please, please go and donate. Anyway, we are just getting ready now to go and leave and go and have a look around some shops, have a look for some stuff for the boys' nursery to finish it off. Yes, where are we going to go? Like B&M, Donnell? Mm. We've where actually we not go? been to the shops b and home sense home bargains for literally now months, months and months months we were gonna go to ikea but we on where we live now we are now like two hours away from ikea so where we always used to just pop there because it was like half an hour yeah are you doing a poo are you ready to go to the shops oh we might even treat mummy to some lunch out if she's good shall we <laughs> Elle's taking half of Danelle with her and the pram. We're on the hunt for some lights for the nursery. I wanted one for the wall though. That is quite cool though. And please stop dropping farts like that in public because it stinks. Elle. I swear. <laughs> stop. We're on our way to B&M now. Do you know what? We've actually not been to B&M, I don't think, since we've had the boys. It's meant to be eating healthy, hun. These are healthy, they <laughs> You know what one of my guilty pleasures is? This stuff. Oh. <laughs> I actually freaking love that stuff. Bolognese in a can. Yeah, it's actually really tasty. Look at these, baby bear. Oh. Mummy bear. I know. Right, we are having a lunch break because it's about to pee it down. This place does amazing food and coffee, so. I mean, it's a weekend essential really, isn't it? Go to your favorite food spot. It's got to be done. This is what I was after. Oh, Al, they got a nice one. You could, could you clip that on there? Do you want it? Another set of pajamas. Where are they gonna live? Under her pillow. Under her pillow. He's with the other ten. Pajamas, so. Right. Fast forward from that shopping trip to the present day. Uh, I don't know why I bought that cloud light. It was absolutely horrendous. So I took that back, and I've actually been on Etsy. Have it you wasn't horrendous. It was really nice. Fab's just. It's not horrendous. It just didn't suit the room. That's gone back to Danelle. I've been on Etsy. Have you seen what I've bought from Etsy? Yes. So I've got some lovely stuff from Etsy, which is going to finish the room off. It's currently, I mean, let's go and show them what it's like, shall we? So this is the current state of the nursery. There is stuff absolutely everywhere, isn't it? Oh, she's off. They're teething at the moment, so they just want to chew with their hands all the time. Are you ditching me? No, Pabs, just one minute, please. Lunch break, is it? Pabs, you don't understand. <laughs> what you got? 
Baby food. <laughs> <laughs> Noah's definitely found his voice. I mean, they've both found their voice now. Yeah. You just gotta be centre of attention, haven't you? Oh my. First of all, we're gonna clean it up in here because it's a mess. Ah, ah, you know when you've just got so much to do. <laughs> what do you want to organise it into? Well, that's too small for them now. Okay. Oh my gosh. Right, so first job is to style this chest of drawers and get it ready as like a changing station. I've got all the kind of decorative bits and pieces down here. Sorry about these words, you're going to hear them moaning. The idea for this space here is it's going to be like a changing station, isn't it, Al? Yeah. Munching away on I'll just take my lunch out. <laughs> This is going to be like a changing station for the boys and we're going to put some decorative bits on these shelves and I've got some really cool bits to go on the wall here. So let's get going. Hey! So I bought this changing mat because I wanted one specifically for the changing, for the nursery. It's got like little bears on it. So what do you reckon? That central? No. What do you reckon? Like? That up there. For the central piece. <laughs> So my nan got them these little boxes which says their date of birth and how much they weighed. And it's even got, look, a little giraffe on. It's so cute. And then in here is all of like their sentimental stuff. So look, if you, if you watch our birth vlog, you'll recognize this little thing. This is the first hat that they put on them. There are lots of giraffes dotted about this room. Al, isn't this your childhood one? Yeah. That sadly broke its neck. Its name is George the Giraffe. George the Giraffe? Yeah. PPI should be co contacting George the Giraffe. He can live up there. That looks like a good spot. And then the other one on the other side. Yeah, but then he just looks like the B-Tech version. Um, no, he doesn't. He looks like the more love version, actually. Right, and then, so this just shows how long ago we actually started doing this. Let's see what size these nappies are. These are a zero, and they're now in size 255. <laughs> they're in size three now. So these... Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. So this is a light that Fab got off Etsy. It's actually battery powered, which I didn't know. Yeah, which is really handy, isn't it? Yeah. Hopefully it lasts a while. It's a pull cord one. Is there a pull cord on there? Yeah, yeah, baby. Oh. I mean, you can't see, but yeah, it does. Yeah, you'll see it night time. Right, right okay. where are you thinking of putting that? I was thinking. Anybody seen that TikTok where it's like, Inside, inside my brain, right? And it's a man with sauce pad going. <laughs> that is how I feel when I have to speak to Fab. <laughs> we have got different. Look, so let me explain my vision. So, I also ordered this wall text, which is beautiful. I'll pop a photo up on the screen. I got it from Etsy. Didn't realise it was coming from Poland. It came literally yesterday, so that is ideal. But I thought this Al could go up here like this to the moon and back with this on here because behind the camera we have got love you to the moon and back as like a little what was that called like a decorative poster thing and i thought this could go like here can you hold it there so i can see hold it now give me some sound effects as if you're a little cloud right perfect perfect now it's raining okay thundering it's thundering and what is the is this a solid no to the stars uh, yes <laughs> Reading them a good night story. It's behind them. It's too crowded there, babe. Let's have it over there so we won't use it. <laughs> yeah! Men! Right, should we just wait until they've gone to sleep? Can you hear that? Finally a bit of peace and quiet. I thought if we come in at night time, then it's more of a subtle light for the boys. But I kind of like your idea of putting it there. Yeah, because we're going to be reading the nighttime stories over there. Yeah. Okay. Should we keep it there? Friend John bought us these. So this is meant to be me and Ellen, and then there's the two little twins. I don't know where he got them from. I'll try and find out, and I'll I'll link it below. But I think Al, oh, these will look nice up here. Oh yeah! Look at that. Happy's there. That like that. Do the. that you have done you've stuck it on the wrong side <laughs> every single one did you put it on the 
wrong side to the Newman bag. Right, Fab's just putting Ari back down to sleep because he woke up again. And I'm just going to go through and sort out these drawers. I've not actually sorted these drawers out since before the boys were born. The only drawer that I sort out is this one here because this one has their new clothes in. But these are all just full of stuff that maybe I haven't used or stuff that we've literally just chucked in here. So I'm going to go through it now and organise it all, sort it all out. Yes, I yeah. think so. <laughs> so we are going to take you for a tour around the nursery, finally! <laughs> this is probably one of our most asked videos, isn't it? Yeah, Could I have a tour it's of been a long time coming. So, well, I'll start over here, which is now going to be our changing station. So, we have got the boys' memory boxes on here, which I assume are from somewhere like Etsy. My nan got them for me. These um, little signs are actually what the stars looked like when the boys were born. Your mum got us those, didn't you? My mum got me these. They are ever so slightly different because they were born a minute apart. This is actually a 3D picture. You can't see it in daylight, but I'll overlay a clip of it at night time. A friend of mine, Alex, who actually watches these videos, he 3D printed these along with some others and some little toys for the boys because he started his own company in Worcester, which is like 3D printing. He wrote a lovely letter saying how he wanted watches all our videos and everything. So I'm gonna link his business below because he can literally 3D print anything. So yeah, these are gonna look awesome at night time, aren't they, when the light's on. And then we've got these little prints here which are actually from Decenio. Yes. Decenio do an absolutely brilliant range of nursery themed pictures and other themed pictures. Then we've got our nappies for our changing station. Here, you've seen us just put this up, but how cute is this? this really is happy with that. How it's cool actually is that? from Etsy, isn't it? Yeah. And it didn't even take that long to come. No, well, like, just it took over about a week. It's just, from Poland. Yeah, I'll link everything below and like put all the Etsy links and stuff. Yeah. Then we've got a scan picture of the boys. Don't worry, this isn't in direct sunlight. No. But we've got Noah at the bottom yawning and Ari sucking his thumb at the top. Ari still actually sucks his thumb now and he always sucked his thumb in my womb. Yeah. Then we've got these little statues from John. Yeah. Just so cute. We've got given those at our gender reveal, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, really cute. Very Where are those little hearts as well? So. Those are sentimental because when we were in hospital, do you remember they gave us the little premature bags? bags it was World yeah. Premature Day yeah. and they gave us little goodie bags and within those goodie bags were these little knitted hearts. So I've put that up there with them. Then we've got a changing mat in here. So when we need to change the boys. Kind of wish we got two back to back. That's a potential thing I might well, do. we don't need two. No. It's a bit of waste of money. This is from Mother Care and it's got little bears on it. Then we've just got a little box of bits here. Do you want to talk them through your organi newly organised drawers quickly? In here we've got the clothes, the boys' current clothes. We've got pyjamas at the back there, vests there, vests there and leggings over here. We're not that organised in this house. No, we're not. Just and a grab and go. And let me tell you something, if you're expecting a baby and you've got everything nice and organised, it's not going to stay like that. What about the rest? No. No? Okay. And we've got this change, this dirty clothes... Laundry bag. This... <laughs> Laundry bag. And basket. we've got this... <laughs> And we've got this laundry basket, which our friend Lily actually got for us, but I absolutely love it. It's, very it's basically cool. like a map of the world. It's got all different places on there. And this is from, I think, H&M Home, but yeah. very, very good. We use this all the time. This is my favourite corner of the nursery, although this rug is a bit out of place and we can't get it to stay it in place. It won't stay flat for some Very reason. annoying. This is from Danelm. It was like 25 quid on offer, wasn't it? Yeah, no wonder, because it doesn't stay doesn't flat. Stay, I know. <laughs> and then we found this on Amazon. This I absolutely love this. We want it, first of all, we're going to get wardrobes. 
but then the room is not big enough for the wardrobes we had, is it? No. So we got the these wooden this wooden rail on Amazon, which was relatively cheap, I think. And then we bought white wooden hangers to hang the boys' clothes on. And these are kind of like their best clothes that we rotate, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Which I just absolutely love this. And then we've moved this to, to sit on here, which looks really cool. This was also from Donnell, wasn't it? This links to Ellen's favourite book. My favourite ever book. Which is, what's it called? Favourite ever book in the whole entire world. Old. My mum and dad used to read this to me as a kid and it's the one that I always remember. Moving on to this bookshelf. This bookshelf is from Danelle with all the books that were gifted for Ellen's baby shower. Which yeah. we can't wait. We've already started reading the books. That was such a brilliant idea by the way, getting a book from everybody. Then we've got some prints up here. This one is from Decenio along with these light wood frames which are really nice. This one's also from Decenio and then these are some photos from our professional photo shoot we had when the boys were like three weeks old one month old three weeks old like that and then there's some more up here which absolutely love these then this chair again absolutely love this we got this from Danelm. i think it was like 250 quid yeah yeah um super comfy as well wasn't it we'll it try and link comfy. it i don't know we if they actually it. do it anymore but this it one, was out of stock for ages but if it's in stock yeah. go 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 because yeah, yeah. they sell out so quick but very very comfortable love the color and this cushion as well is from Danelm we'll yeah. try and find that too then we've got the new edition of this cloud light oh from that is Etsy. so good looks amazing I need to kind of hammer it in a bit more but we can sit here at night time grab a book can't we me and you yeah. read with the boys we've also got right up above me if you pan up we have got this lampshade, which my mum bought for me. I think she got this from an Instagram page. I'll find out, or a Facebook page, but it's handmade. If you watched the first nursery video, she made a giraffe one which and she I wasn't loved. happy with it. We loved it. I Everyone commented it. saying, I love it, but she was adamant. She was like, no, I don't like it. So she, she bought this and it does look really nice to be fair. So then we come round to the window and we have got something else that's giraffe. These curtains are from Danelle. They suit that area they do. so well. We actually love them and they're blackout as well. We will get a blackout light blind from in here too. Mm -hmm. Then here we've got some giraffes, yeah. which are also from Danelle, aren't they? Yeah. Then we've got these little things, globes. We've got little giraffes in them. My mum actually bought me these from Matalan, but they are such a cute little... Mm, very cool. And the boys love watching stuff like this. Yeah, well, and also this whole like rail. rail, curtains, and the little giraffe curtain hooks were all from Danelle. Cool. Then we've got this radiator cover. I absolutely love this radiator cover. It's actually from Amazon. Amazon. It's from Amazon, isn't it? Yeah. And it wasn't actually that expensive. No, 45, 50 quid. For a radiator. And it's quite a big one as well. Quid, yeah. It's a very big and radiator. And it's a very, very, very sturdy, yeah. good quality one as well. Mm -hmm. So then we've got these, which I think are from... Little Dutch. Yeah. Yeah, my mum got these. I so absolutely cute. love these. They're like wooden camper vans and yeah. they've got little people in them. Very much us because we love Cornwall. We love surfy vibes. We've got two of them, but we've just put one out for now. Yeah. Obviously, when the boys are old enough, they can play with them. Then we've got another print from Decenio here. And another one of those little hearts. Another heart Goes and then another there. little globe. Then here we've got these. We absolutely love these cardigans. However, yes. the boys are actually growing out of them now, which is really sad. However, they look perfect here. These are actually from a company on Instagram called The Little Lamb Store. Mm. Another handmade and thing from handmade, someone who watches our yeah, videos. Yeah, exactly. The person who made this is just absolutely insane. Actually, when we put these on our stories, you guys went absolutely mental for them. And she she messaged us yeah, and said, that was so nice. I've had so many new followers and so yeah. many orders. Thank you so much. So thank you guys. They're great amazing. quality as well. Do you know what I mean? They really are. Very cool. and I absolutely love them. Anyway, and then we've got up here, we've got some of these, which I think are actually teething. Um, oh, we could do with them. Teething toys for the boys, and they're also little rattles. They're quite squidgy. Then we've got the boys' first, well, 12 week scan. That is my favourite scan of the boys ever. Just, it, it, yeah, just, just the first magical one, yeah. wasn't it? It was incredible. Yeah, it is. And it, oh, I just, the, the feeling of seeing them at 12 weeks, and they were literally like, they put the thing on, and that's how they looked, was just incredible, yeah. amazing, wasn't it? 
Um, and then up there we've got two rainbows, which I think are from Home Bargains. Yes, my mum got them for us. So these are actually spice racks from Ikea, and they were an absolute nightmare to put up. Maybe we're just I terrible. don't know if we were doing it wrong or what, but wowzers, they were hard to put up. Yeah. They cheap, looked nice, though. and they They're were like cheap. A tenner. And then, moving over to the most important part of the room, which is the boys' cots. These we managed to get on sale in Ikea. I think they were £55, weren't they? Yeah. £60 around No, I don't that. think they were on sale, I just think they'd lowered the price. Oh, okay. So, so I think yeah. that's the price of them. Yeah. These are very popular cots, but they just go with the theme we wanted, really neutral and light. Yeah. And they're good quality too. They to are, be fair, yeah. For the price, so we got these. And they're not too bulky, which no. is when you've got two cots, you don't want a massive bulky cot. And then we got these giraffe, um, bed sheet covers. So the, the mattresses are from Mamas and Papas. Mamas and Papas. And then the bed sheets are from Ikea. From Danelm. Danelm. Okay, so they're like the same material. Oh, we forgot to mention, look, up here, my mum made the this, what's it called now? Bunting. Bunting, out of the same material that this is, the bed sheets, which is amazing. We've got some teddies in there. Obviously, they're not gonna stay in there when they're in sleeping. Here. They will be removed when- Decorative, yeah. yeah. And then we've got their names above the cots. These again are from Etsy. Absolutely love these. Yeah. I quite like now that we've got the contrast of dark wood and light wood. Yeah. I think it looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah. And yeah, these walls were plastered by my yeah. brother. Everything in this room was like completely redone by us. The color on the wall is- Summer linen. Summer linen by Dulux. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gelat, whatever it is. So yeah, that is pretty much it for our nursery. Um, it's taken a long time for us to get it here, but we kind of got halfway, then the twins were born, then we've had like barely any time to even talk to each other. So hi. I'm very happy with how it's turned out at you. Yeah. And it's nice It's that, perfect, isn't it? Yeah. It's just how I wanted it. The boys will be in here soon and we'll be spending a lot of time, probably in this spot actually, sitting and reading books to them. And if you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more of our life, then please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and we will catch you in next week's video, which is also a very exciting one, isn't it? <gasps> oh, yeah. Very, very exciting. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and we will see you next week.